everything up. Oh. Hope it's not too dark in here. It's because I'm using natural lighting. So hopefully everything will be fine and dandy. So guys, let me know if you can see and hear me. Because I do know there's a delay on this. So hopefully everything's working. I've got the sand on now and all the usual stuff. I'm on my own. Yeah, no, Hubby's not very well. He's in chat. He's been suffering with a bad migraine for the last couple of days. And he just wasn't up to being on today. And although I've got a lot of pain in my knees, I can sit here and still do it. So, I'm having to go on my own. Now, this will be the first time properly on my own since the accident in December. So, I'm... Bear with me. That's all I can say. Just bear with me because I... It's a bit nerve-wracking doing it all on my own again, which sounds silly, because I did it on my own all that time without any problems. But because I'm doing it on my own now, it feels really, really weird. I, I just... I lost a lot of my, the way I feel about things, and it's just took me a while to sort of kind of get back. Now, I don't think everything's... Is that straight? Am I, it's hard to... I, do you know what? I keep saying, is that straight? Most people know we're moving... And we're in the middle of packing because we're supposed to move on the 6th of May. I know, that doesn't look like it'll happen. But we've still got to pack just in case the lockdown gets lifted or something. I don't bloody know. So um, in here, it's really, what you can see here looks all right. But from here downwards, there's just boxes and boxes. And Stevie's been packing away all the vape gear apart from what's behind us. And, you know, soon you're going to see no vape gear. I'm literally using just like one or two mods to get me through. And Stevie's much the same because we're packing away. So anyway, let's start saying hello to a few people. Brittany, hello darling. Sorry if you've got to miss the show. Bunny Honey, Timmy, Craig, Gav, Tolmac, Hubby, Dawn Pasty, hello, hello. Andy H. Kevin, hello, hello. So that's all we've got at the moment. So hi, guys. Thank you for joining me. Really appreciate it. Now, as a, you know, Andy Fletcher, hello. Nice to see you, sweetheart. Oh, I hope you start to feel better soon, Andy. I really do. Um, I wish you weren't in hospital. I wish you weren't suffering like you are. But, um, yeah, take it, take it easy, sweetheart. Everyday outcast. Hello, Des. Nice to see you. So what I'm going to do today is something slightly different. Because obviously I've not been doing any, giving you any of my thoughts or anything. Bill, hello. So I've got two closed pod systems that came in for me to review. And it's the Snow Plus Lite and the Snow Plus Pro. Now as you can see they're still all in the cellophane. So I'm going to actually do an out the box review for you. Now if you remember the Snow Plus is the people who did this. Now I did this for all you previously and it is the device that when you vape it well look remember no vapor absolutely brilliant device this one i really really do love it it's great for stealth vaping obviously vaping where you're not supposed to like at work or even a hospital you know don't let out any vapor yeah, Andy, big love. I really, I'm wishing you so much support and help and hopefully you'll pull through, sweetheart, soon. So I thought, because I love that so much, they, they asked me to review these. So they sent them in. So I'm going to do it live. Live. Ah, I know. And I've even got what they sent me. They've sent me some spare pods. Snow. What have I got? I've got ice cola pods and watermelon pods. For the snow plus oh um, smokeless so really that means a vaporless one so that's pretty cool they've actually sent me some the cola ones that are vaporless so i can use it to stealth as well again which i like and these ones look like they're the normal sort so you do get vapor and i do like the idea of them doing this because there's a lot of people out there who don't want to be blowing clouds, but want to have that stealthy vape, especially if you depend on what your job is. 
you know, it's it's handy, really is handy. And I, I still use this, I love it. It's one of my, you know, I, I have certain pods, she says with a handful, I have on the go all the time. I've, I couldn't pick that one up, but I've, I have the boost as well. And obviously I still always use that. But my snow plus always on the go. So when they asked me to do, give them a thoughts on this, I thought, yes. And with them sending me these pods as well, like I say, 1.5% is nicotine in the, what they call the smokeless, so vaporless one. And 3% nicotine in the normal one. So I'm looking forward to doing that for you. Hello, Matt. Nice to see you. Hello, Village. Mike's Mex. Thank you for joining me. Nice of you all to be popping in. So, yeah, so I'm going to do... Put those down so I don't need those. Out of the box review for you. Literally rip open the cellophane on the screen so you can see and you'll get my first impressions. Because it's all right as, re as people who do the reviews and we, we try them for weeks on end. That's fine when it's like, you know a mod like this or you know a different kind of RDA or RTA pods we could do really out of the box couldn't we a bit like juice you can do a juice out of the box because a, a juice review is just the same as when you go into a shop and you try a different flavor so pods I think why not let's do it out of the box and then you're going to get that first initial thought of what I think it is and you know and if it's a good one or a not so which one do we start with? Ooh, we'll open up the Snow Plus Light. That's what we'll do. I've got my scissors ready. I would have had the knife, but Stevie would kill me if he see me using his knife. So I've got to rip my cellophane. I'm really rubbish at this sort of thing, you know. Ooh, right. Tear that cellophane so you can see it all, all coming off. Okay, so hubby now. Put me mic. Sorry about that. Hubby wanted a quick word. So, and I did mute it. So let's see what we get in this then. So shake it down. That's the outer sleeve. I'll show you that first. So there's the outer sleeve with the usual warnings. Turn it round so you can see the back. There you go. So let's see. What do you get in it? There we go. So you get your little device, your battery. Also, you get your USB charger cable. Pop it in there. And that, my dears, is it. But where's the pods, you're thinking? Well, they're here. So I'm going to go with, let's do the vaporless one first. So we'll open this. Let's have a go. Now the flavour is this is ice cola. Hello Kevin, hello faceless vapor, nice to see you. Doing an out of the box reviews for you guys tonight. Got two. So come in these three little boxes like this in that setup. So let's pop that there. Oh bust it open, scissors again. Get it out. And there is the pod. Now remember guys, this is the, what they call smokeless one. So it's the vaporless one. Ice cola pod. Now, I do like it when they do that because I liked it in this. So let's have a shot. See what it's like in this one. In the snow plus light. So, took it out. Obviously take the bungs off them. Why not in the top as well? Pop it in and the lights on so it's charged. Wow. <clears throat> the ice from that hit me straight away. Let's try again now. Mm. 
look, no vapour. Absolutely brilliant. And you are getting the cola. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me, it's because it's an ice one. Which this one isn't. Much the same. Now, comparing them both together, this is the previous one I had. And this one, this one's slimmer. It's slightly taller as well. It's thinner, so it's not as bulky. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Nice feel to it. Oh, what have I missed? So, yes, that's my dog now trying to get in. Good flavour. I like the idea of it again. I think it's brilliant that you don't get the vapour. So, again, another one that's great for stealth vapes. Are the pods interchangeable? Let's see. So, I've took the one out of the new one. Let's put this one in. I do believe they are. Yes, they are. Interchangeable. So, that's good. So, if you've actually got the old device, you could just buy the pods again. And it's the same pods, so it doesn't matter. I do like that idea. I don't know what you lot are like, whether you like, if you still like your pods. I think pods are still good for walking the dog, things like that, and for people who need that quick stealthy vape when they're at work. My dog's trying to get up, and I've got things on the windowsill where she wants to go. Let me move my stuff. So, yeah. I just picked my doggy up. Sorry. Oh. Here she is, look. Mwah. There she is. There's my girl. Right. Well, we can look out the window. So, yes. So, I don't know what you all think. Hi, Pad. Nice to see you. So, um, yeah. I mean, any of you still use your pods? Pods don't affect me face. Oh, you, oh right. My cat, do you know what, though? For people who work who can't... Who have to have that sneaky vape. These are good. Pods are. And especially with the fact that... You've got now the vaporless pod for it that, you know, the original one is, which was that one. Now they do, you know, you can use them in all. And this one is absolutely brilliant. And if you like, hi, James. If you like an icy vape, you're getting that. I don't particularly. Although the cola flavour in this is lovely. Hi, Sloney. But yeah, it feels really, really weird. Vaping and them blowing out and there is no vapor at all none at all so yeah i really do like this guys i do but i was a big fan of this one so let's put this one down because we've got another one to do but we'll do the other one shortly when i've said hello to everybody i don't want to lose everything let's put my rubbish in the bin so how is everybody doing anyway so we'll catch up on some chat what did my husband put about cola? I tried the cola ice expo in October and it was law sure though I did get a bloody nick rush. <laughs> yes. Well, you can come and suck on this one if you want, babe. <laughs> I'll stick to the one without the ice. But that's the ice one. And yeah, too much ice for me. I'm not one for icy vapes, but the flavour's there. The ice is there if you like that coolness. Hi, Dion. Nice to see you. So let's see if I've missed anything in chat. Go up to the top, make sure I haven't missed anyone. Talking, who do do do? Let's see, where are we? Tom, oh, yeah, Tom, don't forget to message Stevie. Okay, sweetheart, about your piston. Timmy, I hope his migraine comes off soon because, oh, God, he really does look rough as fuck. He really does. Not good at all. Not good at all. <clears throat> at all. Yes, David, I am. Thank you very much. Nice to see you in as well. Getting there. Just checking I haven't missed anything in the chat because I really don't like to miss it. Billy just knocked his coffee over. Silly boy. <laughs> yeah, Mike, the things I've been watching lately. <laughs> Is he sure he's really ill with a migraine or have I been slowly poisoning him? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Ooh, I think we may have caught up. 
Yeah, a bit faceless, but if it gets very cough, the smoke's so not... But yeah, exactly. If it helps people get off the cigarettes, it's all good at the end of the day. It doesn't matter whether it's a pod or not. People don't like pods, we get it. But, because, you know, there is tons of pods. I mean, I've got so many pods, it's scary. But if it helps people, brilliant. And I tend to like to use my pod for walking the dog and that. But like I said, for a stealthy vape, you can't, you can't knock them these because there is no vape from it none at all now obviously what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this pod here because i've used it I'll take it out pop it in there because i'll just use it for that but this pod is going in with this set and the remainder of the smokeless or should i say vaporless pods are going to go to one of my patreons as a giveaway so one of my Patreons will be getting that and the last two boxes in here of ice cola pods, which are the smokeless ones or vaporless ones. So that's going to a Patreon because, I, I mean, I don't need any more and it's much the same as what I'm using already. Share the love. Don't you agree? Share the love. Hi, Cron. It's nice to see you, sweetheart. Tetley, hello, sweetheart. Nice to see you all coming in. Let me have a quick drink. Sainty, hello, sweetheart. A quick drink of Iron Brew. Really fizzy, so I hope I don't start belching. So, I hope you enjoyed that out of the box quite kind of review. Me giving you my thoughts on something straight out of the box. And like I said, this will be going to one of my Patreons. I do have... This one to do out of the box. Hi, Flat Camp. Nice to see you, Gaz. And by the way, it's Gaz's birthday today, so we all thought to wish him a happy birthday. So, happy birthday, Gaz, from all of us. So, yeah, we're going to do this one. So, the Snow Plus Pro, we're going to do that one out of the box. And it does have a Type-C cable to it as well, where the other one was a micro USB cable. So, we'll, and we'll do this without the smokeless. Well, actually, I could use this. I'll do it with a smokeless pod that I've already opened, but I will open one of the other ones as well. Hello, hip hop. You drinking iron brew? Mmm, love it. So again, it's all in its cellophane because these are closed pod systems. I'm going to do them live. What's my husband? We've got Patreons. Are we posting out all the winnings? Well, yes, Stevie's got all my Patreon people's winnings. It's all boxed and that ready to post. It's just that we're packing like mad here as well. So, ugh. Trying to pack, and don't worry, I won't be packing, I've packed your stuff, but it's everything's done, you know. So, let's open this one. Let's open this one. Oh, I've got all the haters in today. Nice one. Thank you, you lot of haters. Be nice if you actually went into chat and said, why are you haters? But hey-ho, I care not. So, opened it up. This one is a Snow Plus Pro. It says one Snow Plus vaping device, one Type C cable. It's got the warnings on on the back. It says it's rose gold. It's got the model number, the date. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Manufacturer's details, all that sort of stuff. Well, there we go. We'll open it up, and that's it inside. Oh, and look at that one. That's how that one comes. And it's even got a diagram to tell you how to use it, though. Just in case you're not quite sure, it's got the diagram. So, obviously, you can see there, there's your battery, and it's got a little picture of a pod, if you had the pod in there. Inside here is, let's have a look, your little, tiny, thin manual on how to use it. But if you know what you're doing, there's your manual in there. You don't need it so let's pop that there what else do you get your charging cable just there hello ian above the clouds nice to see you darling so we'll close that off don't forget guys if you're enjoying the show thumbs up if you hate it like some of you some people do thumbs down so what we'll do is we'll get this one going, shall we? So let's get the battery out. Let's get the vaporless pod out first. Pop 
pop it in. Oh, it lit up so you know it's got charge. Again, works great. We know the flavour on this. It's the ice cola one. It's too cold for me. It's one I'm not keen on personally. I like the flavour of cola. I don't like ice vapes. Works a treat. What does it feel like compared to this? It feels much the same as this one, actually. It's, again, slightly taller, but it's about the same thickness as this, where the light one was thinner. So let's try one of the other pods. Let's pop this cola one in here and we'll get a normal pod out that's not vaporless again brand new box i've not opened them or messed with anything oh open the cellophane it's unusual this isn't it me doing out of the box reviews as such but it's a pod system so like i said you can't really go wrong with a pod system can you so this is the watermelon pods pop that there it's not the vaporless one, so oh, nearly swore. <laughs> nearly swore. Let's open this bad boy up. Open it out of there. Take the bungs off, all the bungs. And stick it in. There we go. Right, we'll see. Oh, that's actually nice. Do you know what? I'm get, I don't seem to be getting any vapour again. Let's see if you see it. Yeah, a tiny, tiny bit of vapour. Not a lot. So again, very stealthy. You are getting that watermelon fresh flavour from this really refreshing again although it doesn't say ice i get a coldness to this vape a really coldness sort of like it's not overly like some like icy but there is that iciness there not enough to make me choke again a lovely lovely device and i can't complain they may have other flavors that i don't like hi irish nice to see you um, but they do know, the company Snow Plus know what flavours I do like. So they have sent me those sort of flavours. And again, this, guys, I'm going to pack, unpack. Oh, da da So it's not all messed up. Put it back in the box. Like so. Close it up. And I'm going to send this to one of my patrons as well but do you know what i think i'll do because you get one of each you've got two left two flavors left i'm going to put one watermelon in this normal vapor with the and so you're getting one of each so you're getting a, sm a smokeless or vaporless should i say get out look at me i'm rubbish get out the box right so let's separate these so well, it's one person's going to get this and both these pods, one's a vaporless one and one isn't. And that, so it's ice cola and watermelon. This is for my Patreons. And another Patreon will get this one, which is the Snow Plus Pro, with the same brand new unused, the ice lemon and the watermelon. So the, the ice lemon, ice cola one, and that's the smokeless one or vaporless one. So I'm going to give those to my patrons and you might probably think because i've only got one of each of those devices and you probably think why are you giving them because usually i keep if i only got one of but it's much the same as this one that i've got from snow plus which i love and obviously now i've got the some extra pods although i did have some anyway and i'll keep the pods that i opened those two and use it with this so there's no point me keeping the other two when they're very much similar to this one their older version although these are a little bit lighter i'd say um a little bit slimmer or and taller and things like that but yeah so i'm going to keep that one with those pods and they're going to go to a patreon so guys that's it that's all i was going to do today was literally a live 
pod review for you, a closed pod review. Um, as you know, most people's channels are getting hit, especially with pods and juices and things like that, but pods are being a big thing at the moment, especially the closed pods. If it's ones that you can put juice in, it doesn't seem to be as bad. So I'm doing it as a live. So any I get now that are closed pods, I'm going to do it as a live review. Obviously, if I get more than one, I usually have Steve with me. Hello, Bella. Here's my daughter, Shez. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with those. But I like, like I say, I liked the Snow Plus anyway when I first had it. I really enjoyed it. And it is one of my, you know, top ones for vaping. It's much better than quite a few that you can get out there. So, if you want a decent flavour. And, you know, I, and I do have a lot of pods. I do. I have a lot of pods. So anybody got anything new? I mean, because I have not seen it. Yes, the baguettes in. <laughs> That's right, Irish, baguettes in. <laughs> um, anybody got anything new? Because I've i decided that there's no point in me doing anything until there's some more new stuff coming out. Or, to be quite honest, until I've moved house properly. Because, like I say, everything's being packed. So I can't really do give you my thoughts on any of the things I've got because a lot of it's all packed away ready for the move like I said we're due to move on the 6th of May I doubt we will be because of the lockdown-ish thing but if we do just by any chance we've got to be all packed just in case so um it's going to get to that point soon where the computer is put away probably although Steve is trying to leave that to the last thing so we can pack it away like a night two nights before we move sort of thing where we know it's def definitely going to move but until then you know, it's it's we're playing it by ear with us because, like I say, we've got to get anything done. So Bill's waiting for the Axel RDA to arrive. Oh, very nice. You have to let us know how that is when you get it. I am solo. I do talk enough for us both Irish. And I am solo because Stevie has not been well. He's been suffering with a migraine for the last few days. But Shrell... I need some juices, so where should I buy them from? Where do you usually get your juices from, Sherelle? Unless it's a certain one. No corona here. I've got to be very safe because I've got emphysema. So I'm one of the people that's supposed to be on lockdown completely, stuck in their house. I've not been doing it. I must admit I've done a bit of shopping. And I do walk my dog two or three times a day. I do. So it's only under my hours of exercise. But I'm not even supposed to be doing that because of my suffering. But hey... I'd go stir crazy if I stayed in. Hi, Stuart. Nice to see you, sweetheart. The Aegis Boost. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it, Bunny? I, I still love this, my Boost. And do you know what? It's great. Not just with Nick Salts and Pod Salts, but even normal juice. Yum. Sherelle, if it's juice that you need off Daddy, then... Then phone him up and ask him, because I know he's making juice tonight. If it's juice you want to buy, tell me what flavours and I'll tell you who to order it from. And what discount codes to use. Yeah, it is corona-free house here at the moment. Although the, the care home where Stevie's mum is, because everyone knows you know, we, we're carers for his mum and we have to put into a care home now because she got that bad. They phoned me up. They, had, they phoned me up the other day. They had one confirmed um, case of corona. Hi, D. Nice to see you. I do still hear from Empire D. And then they phoned me up yesterday. <coughs> and there's now three more cases. There's four people with it. So I think, you know, I think it's going through. I think, you know, they'll be phoning me before I know it to say that she's got it as well. And there's not much we can do once it's in a care home because they're all... You know, it can't be helped, can it? So what's Ashrell saying? I'm willing to not pay. <laughs> I'm willing to not pay. That means she wants a dad's. <laughs> it might be Mike. That's that's what's giving him the eye the migraine because I've been watching all their murder programmes and now he's thinking, gosh, she's ready to bump me off. But do you know what? I'm not going to bump him off too after we've moved. <laughs> and then the his insurance covers everything again. I, I would be a happy lady. I'd be in a bit of money. <laughs> and a nice big house. 
I miss him too, D. He will be coming back and forth, and he knows that if he ever wants to come on, he can always just, you know, give me a yell, and he's always welcome on here. He will be coming back, as he said, doing a few more lives. He's got some things in, you know, on the go that he's thinking about, you know, he's planning. So, I, would, you know, you, you know he's going to be back. It's good to see him back as well. I've missed Chris. I've missed his high energy and fun. Hi, Mo. Nice to see you, sweetheart. Hope you're feeling better because I know you've not been feeling well as well. So, yeah. People have been... There's a lot of people being ill. And it's not just... The, it's not the corona that's making them ill. It's other things, obviously. And I think a lot of people... Like Mo himself, he's used to being at work all the time. And all of a sudden, when you're not being at work, when you're a busy person and active at that, that can't be good for you. Good, Sherelle. Yes, you've got, to, you've got to stay safe for your kids at work. You really have, because you can't have your illness and take it into there, can you, with all those kids? Because your place, it's not as if, you know, kids live there. <laughs> but, yeah, I, do you know, I don't know why people are doing live shows at the moment. It must be really hard, because even I've been thinking... I usually do things that make you go, hmm. And I've not seen a great amount of things that make me go, hmm, at the moment. Because there's nothing new on the market. There's, you know, there's not much bitching apart from the usual people who are bitches anyway. So, you know, and you take them with a grain of salt, don't you? So there's nothing. There's nothing new going on. There's nobody, you know new um done something wrong or done something amazing that you've got to go mm -hmm, brilliant or mm -hmm. you know there's just nothing it really is a dried up part at the moment it really is there's just nothing going on nothing at all Oh, Irish, are you being serious then? So you want, you, all right. Yeah, get some vitamin D in everyone, not on a euphemism, a euphemism this time. He's being serious. Yes, vitamin D. Yeah, it's been a struggle these last couple of weeks or so. My head hasn't been in the game recently, despite the head injury. And, well, yes, exactly, Mo. But you need to get well as well. But yeah, there's just nothing happening. It is really, really dead out. And that Stevie actually said to me at one point today, he says, listen, there weren't a sound. You didn't hear an aeroplane. You didn't hear kids. You didn't, there was nothing, no noise at all, nothing. And that's weird as well. It is rich, uh, Bill. It is a bit flat. Yeah, because there's nothing new coming. They can't do anything. There's nothing brilliant you know, so yeah, it is, it's a bit quiet. So yeah, there's nothing happening. Apart from the fact that we're moving and we've got boxes everywhere. And yet we're moving, but we're not moving because of the lockdown. I can't wait till we move into the new house, to be honest with you. I bet it is hip hop. I think it is as well because there's less traffic about as well. So there's as much, as much pollution in the air because people aren't going to work and whatnot. So it's been a you know a good thing in some aspects when you think about it, the lockdown because people you know aren't travelling as much. So the pollution and there's not as much people working, so the pollution's dropped as well. So that has got to be a plus, definite plus, especially people like me as well who's got. You know, asthma and emphysema and these people with, you know, COPD and all that. That makes a huge difference. Maybe, Irish, I should start using using more vitamin D because of my um, joints aching with me arthritis. Timmy, air quality is down near me. Every gets outside burning garden waste. Really? See, we've, you know, we've, we've not even got that. It's just so good. It is Pav. It's the Asgard. It's the um, the Mini. And it's their uh, oh, limited edition one. Their breast cancer one. I don't know if you can see that. It's got the breast cancer. There we go. Logo on it. Focus. There we go. It's the breast cancer one. I love the flavour. It is one of my 
favourites. It really is one of my favourite RDAs at the moment. I've been using it ever since I got it. Hi, Ronnie. Ever since I got it. And it, it, it that's not the um, drip tip that comes with it, though. That was a signature tips drip tip that I had made. And I think it just it matches this. It's all matchy, matchy, gorgeous, sexy, sexy. But, yeah, it's the Asgard. I love it. So, guys, as you see, so we did the review. I did an out-of-box pod, two pod reviews, which will be going to, both of these will be going to, well, not to the same Patreon, but obviously they'll be both going to a Patreon. I'll be sending those two when I do my next Patreon draw that they'll be thrown into their Patreon things as well. You're not being nosy, Pav. It is nice. And the flavour from it is absolutely brilliant. I cannot knock it. It's like one of my favourites. I do still use the Kelpie one from Vic. Again, flavour from that is absolutely brilliant. Not going to knock it at all. But I think they're, they're the only two I've actually got on the go now. In RDAs. Yeah, that's the only two that are out. Because everything else is packed away. Apart from my, uh, obviously, my pumas are out with my wasps in case I do any juices. They're always out. But, um, yeah, these are the only two I've got on the go at the moment. Oh, flavour from that's lovely. But I, I do like my Asgard. I really do. Love it. So, guys, I know it's it was a short one today, isn't it? I can't believe it. Oh, by the way, if you haven't got this, keep it keep it cloudy. Strawberry chew. Oh, because I've been on orange. I was on um, I've been on different flavors, and uh, this was sent in to me, and I've already reviewed it before. So I thought, do you know what? I know I liked it, so I started it. Oh my god, that one. Keep it cloudy. If you you know strawberry chew, if you like your your fruits and your strawberries, although it's a bit sweet. Oh, I love it. I might point out some extra drips in. Why? I'm on a squonker. Um, yes, nice. The Hess. I ordered myself the barrage from Easy Grand on a whim. Very impressed. Good, good. That's good Irish then. Not good that you've got sensory overload, but the fact that you can now go out without headphones. So, yeah, oh, but I'm really enjoying this. It's not too strawberry. It's not too sweet. It's just nice. And because it's not really bad weather at the moment, I'm really kind of enjoying it. It's, it is one that you probably have as a summer vape. And I know it's not quite summer, but I'm enjoying it. I mean, I'm glad they sent it me and not this in one for sale. Because look at this. Look at the way the fucking labels been put on. Shocking. It's all creased to fog. Shocking, that. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not vaping the label, am I? <laughs> just jam. Oh, yeah. You see, now, I'm not... Pav, I don't particularly like the Just Jam. I do like the odd one, but they're not big for me. I'm not a huge fan of them. Stevie has quite a few Just Jams. Um, they're not the flavours I go for, but he likes them. So, yeah, some people do like them, some don't. I mean, I say about some fruits I really like, and other people try them. They're like, oh, my fucking good God, how can you vape that? And it's so it just shows you how subjective taste is. It really does. That has another meaning down south. I don't get that, Mike. Down south means down south, not down south. Is that what you're on about? Down south as in down, 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 down on the body, or down south as in the place, as in like the world, and you go down south. There you go, Mike. You said it's a coil killer, Pav. So, hope you've got plenty of um, coils for your just jam. You see, Bill, I didn't, I weren't, I didn't think it was that. It weren't the sweetness that put me off. I just didn't like the flavors. Oh, and yeah, Ronnie, I gathered he was talking to you, sweetheart. Yeah, I just, um, I just didn't. I weren't that overly keen on them at all. Weren't, weren't keen at all. I'm still enjoying this, though. The Vapor Punks, I've got the Trapple. And Stevie's got on the go the um, Mango one. 
which is unusual because he doesn't like mango and I do and yet I preferred the apple and he preferred the mango so yeah we're both still enjoying that so that's a good flavour if you haven't got them oh okay Mike it's a no then <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. Everybody's different on what they, they like in flavours. But that's for me. Oh, oh, I thought my Aegis was out then. And then look, my Aegis X says, there's the sleeve, but no, no mod. Can you tell Steve he's packing away? And I wonder if he's packed it and not put the sleeve on. Which ain't like it. Yeah, the trapple's lovely, isn't it, Bill? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so Saint is saying just jam is a coil is a coil killer question mark. I've had the original and raspberry tons of times and my coils last ages. So there you go. So on Saint it's not been a problem for him. Yeah, I'm creating Pango at the Mo too low. That's what Stevie's on, Pango, that's it. And Mike was rebuilding daily with his just jam. So mm, I don't know. Don't know at all. Well, guys, I think I've babbled on long enough and I do need to really start moving because, like I say, we're partway through still trying to pack. We've been dead relaxed about it because we know the lockdown, but now it's like when you're talking about lifting it and you're like, oh, fuck's sake, if they lift it, we've been running around like twats trying to get packed up and done. It's not, we're not, we'll never be ready. But we are due to move, and obviously I'll have to let lots of people and companies know that my new address, like hip hop um, and things like that, when I do move. But yeah, eee, moving house. Oh my god! But anyway, thank you for joining me, guys, and thank you to my lovely spanners for making sure everyone behaves. Thank you for the thumbs up, and thank you for the one who do the thumbs down too. See, I love you all muchly, regardless, regardless. But yeah, thanks guys for joining me and oh, I'll see you soon. Love you, bye. Mwah.